I was like under 20s, I was playing youth league, like division one, playing like scrap minutes for Seaball. Hadn't really got anywhere, never made the state teams. I got cut again from under 20s. So I was like, damn, maybe it's not realistic. You know, I really wanted to be an Opal one day. Like that's always been my goal. But then as I just kept getting turned down and over and over, I was like, is that even really something I should be aiming for? Or am I just kind of hurting myself in the process? So like when I was six, I was in prep and everyone was talking about what they wanted to be when they grew up and I wanted to be an Opal, like I wanted to be an Olympian. So I grew up playing for Frankston. I was 10 when I started my first season, went there all the way through to top age. As a kid growing up playing for Frankston, I like never made the big metro teams. Um, I was never in any of the high performance stuff like SPP and all of that. I went on a USA tour with Simon Mitchell, the coach of South East Melbourne, and he was our like head of high performance. So he had a really big part in getting me to Buffalo. So we went over there, he went and had a chat with the coach and the assistant coach and um, sold me and my best friend about you know our ability and that's where we kind of went over there together and um, that was probably the turning point for me because I was pretty ready out of high school to just become a Seabull player, um, work full time. I didn't think I was really going anywhere so going to college that changed that whole perspective and now it's yeah, a bit of a blur. Or if, because she's volunteered. Saturday morning on Townsville's hit one at three point one. It's Steph Reed looking like Tony Stark over here. <laughs> <laughs> Got like straps here. Right. No. Spad said no. And Spad said I'd rather do them. Right. So I'm like, okay, you know what? That's fine, but you got to do them every two to three weeks. You're not allowed to let it slip. Yes. That's absurd. And I'd be Karen surprised to go. if it's been lasting for a few weeks. <laughs> she's Probably towards the end of college, like in the last couple of years. I was like, this is realistic, like, I could go pro. I was working so hard, like she just taught me that if you want to have confidence you've got to work harder than everybody else because then you know that you've prepared better. And that's kind of been my mentality going forward and that was something I was like, if I work harder than everybody else then surely I can get to where I want to go and like I don't want to stop playing. I love playing 20 hours a week of basketball in college and you know to go out and play professionally that's the dream. So like I did the WNBA combines and you know I wasn't successful in that but it exposed me to that next level and it made me want it even more. Um, I came back and played like Siebel for Frankston after college and we were we were not a great team but then Larissa Anderson reached out to me and she was the head coach of Danny Nong at the time and um, offered me a development player spot. So I was like, okay, like, I'm on a roster. I don't even care. Like, it's so cool. My name's going to be Ben. I'm going to be training with them. And yeah, when she reached out to me, I said yes quicker than anything in the world. I couldn't even think before I had already accepted the positions. Yeah, I was grinding. Um, so it was like $1,500, I think, for the season. And it was like, not if you played more, you got more. Like it was just, you know, it's 1500 bucks, do what you do. So I was doing indies. I was working for my like family's company as a sales rep. So on our off days, I would drive all over Victoria, like Werribee, Phillipa Island, like driving hours, selling boat trailers. Like something I know nothing about, like I'm scared of the ocean. So these guys would talk about fishing and I would just be like, yeah, did you catch anything great? Like I had no idea what I was doing. Like I was grinding just to make it work. But yeah, like, I mean, it's the love of the game. And like that season, 
it was, you know, something I, I fell in love with the WNBL from that point and yeah, I was really lucky to even be a part of it. When I was in Buffalo, I was really fortunate. I met a kid called, um, we called him Baby Sean, and he was diagnosed with um, DIPG, which is like an incurable brain cancer. He was, I think when I met him, he was five or six, and he was given less than like six months to live, and then he was given less than five years, and like he was not meant to keep living, and now he's playing basketball. But when I met him, it just showed me that there's so much more, like there's so much bigger things for me, like to worry about and to have a difference in and like the platform that we're given as athletes, like we should utilize that. What I'd love to create like a youth engagement charity of some description to really like integrate basketball and kids that are at risk or that are disengaged. I just think that there's such a bridge there that athletes, like we have such a platform and the potential to make a difference in people's lives. I'd love to one day be able to utilize that a bit more. And I think the fire do a phenomenal job at that. And I've been really lucky that they've given me the opportunity to work with them in that space and be their ambassador for the last year and a half. But yeah, that's definitely something like eventually I wanna get out and make a bit more of a difference with as well. During the NBA One season, like there'll be a lot of Opal stuff coming up, so I want to make sure that I'm in the best physical condition that I can be in. Look after my injuries if I have any. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just want to be playing my best basketball. I want to work with Shannon and grow my game and make sure come next WNBL season I'm even better again. And I'm lucky to be in Townsville where I can work with him every day and watch film with him every week and be invested in that together. Obviously, the Olympics are coming up. In 2024 so that's a goal and I think you know that's something like I pushed for a while ago and didn't know if that was really within reach so it's exciting to even be in the squad that's pushing towards that now and I'll be doing everything I can to make sure that I'm in the best physical and mental shape to be there. Yeah. <laughs>